Have you ever looked at your period blood and you're like, Oh my God! Why is it different this time around? Well, there are different types of period blood and we'll be exploring them in this video. Starting from the normal, the abnormal and the red ones. That is the ones that you'll be running to the hospital to contact your doctor immediately because it could be dangerous. So if you're a lady or if you have a wife, a sibling and you don't want to take your health for granted, then this video is for you. I am Dr. Akoche, a licensed medical doctor. So let's dive right into the video. The number one on our list here is the bright red period blood. So this is a fresh, new and rapid flowing blood from your uterus down your vagina. So I want you to think of it like this. You know, whenever you have a cut, what comes out first is that bright red color. So in the same way, this means that your uterus is actively shading the uterine line. This occurs during the first and second day of your period. And you don't really have any cause to worry because almost 100% of the ladies experience bright red colored period blood. So now the second on our list is the dark red colored period blood. Think of it this way. Whenever you have a cut, First of all, you experience a bright colored blood coming out of your right. After some time, if you do not clean the blood from your skin, the blood will now harden somehow. It will clot and darken in color. In the same vein, the dark red colored period blood, this is the blood that takes a little longer before coming out of your uterus. And you usually experience this blood towards the end of your menstrual period. So many people see this transition from red color to darker color as the day goes by, starting from your first day down to the last day of your menstrual period. So you don't have to worry in this case because almost 100% of ladies experience dark red color period blood. So you don't have to worry about it. It is completely normal. Now, the third on our list is the brown color period blood. The brown color period blood is also called the rusted colored period blood. Now let me tell you something. Do you know that the essential element in your blood is called iron? And that iron is not different from the main iron that you need. And now there's something that happens whenever iron is exposed to water and oxygen, it begins to rust. Now what's the color of rusted iron? It is brownish in color. So now whenever that same iron in your blood is exposed to oxygen and water, in your uterus it will begin to rust so now the rusted colored period blood or the brown colored period blood this is the blood that has overstayed in the uterus and then it is now exposed to oxygen and the uterine secretion which contain water so over time it begins to rust so now you usually experience this towards the tail end of your menstrual period and this is just your body that is trying to expel everything you know clear out everything that is there preparing your womb for the next period so it is completely normal I think over 60 percent of women experience a roasted color period blood if you are watching this video and you have experienced this before i want you to comment it in the comment section so the next on our list here has a warning sign this is the pink colored period blood now the pink blood, think of it this way, you know whenever you pour blood in a bowl and then you start adding water slowly, what will happen is that it will change from dark red to light red and then to somehow pinkish in color. So now the pink colored period blood, you usually experience it whenever you're having light spotting, whenever you're having a light period. So now, this blood has become mixed with the uterine secretion which contain water. So it has become diluted. So now what will come out is somehow pinkish in color. Why the pink blood may be normal, it could also be a sign that you have a low estrogen level. So whenever you see a pink colored blood, you may have to run to the hospital and see a certified medical doctor, a gynecologist to be specific, for counseling and expert management. Now the fifth on our list also has a warning sign. This is called the orange colored period blood. Now there's something about this orange colored period blood. It is very, very rare and it occurs during the midpoint of uh, the menstrual period. So if you experience this, it could be normal, but it could be a warning sign. If it is foul smelling, if it is itchy and if it is painful, it could be an indication that you have an infection. Whenever you notice this, Please run and meet a certified medical doctor for tests and for expert management, specifically a gynecologist. 
So whenever you see an orange colored period blood, please don't take it for granted. The sixth on our list is a red flag. This is called the gray colored period blood. This one is not normal at all. If you see this, the possible cause could be that you have an infection, a vaginal infection, typically of bacterial vaginosis. And if you are pregnant and you are seeing gray colored discharge, then you have to run to the hospital. It could mean that you have a miscarriage. Typically, it may be associated with foul smelling odor, fever, and body weakness. So whenever you experience a gray colored blood, please run straight to the hospital and contact a certified medical doctor, specifically a gynecologist. So whenever you see a gray colored period blood, please don't take it for granted run to the hospital as soon as possible if you are pregnant and you see a gray color period blood it is an indication that you have had a miscarriage and you need to run to the hospital immediately so this type of period blood is just like your body reaching out to you and shouting help help i need help so you don't have to take it for granted your period blood is just like a monthly report card of how you are doing internally especially your womb to mean that you are normal it could mean that there's an abnormality there. It could mean that there's a red sign that you don't have to take for granted. So ladies, whenever you are having your menstrual period, hmm, that blood is coming out of you. So you don't have to be ashamed of it. You can even take the pad sometime, try to assess it, try to study it, try to smell it. Especially when you discover any difference from the previous day that needs an attention. Call your doctor immediately or run to the hospital whenever you notice that there is something wrong. If this video is helpful, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe. And I would like to hear from you. Have you ever had any of this period blood before? I want you to comment it in the comment section. Also, have you ever noticed any different type of period blood apart from this? I also want you to indicate in the comment section. Also, if you have any question for me, please drop it in the comment section and I'm going to attend to all your questions. Thank you for your time and may God bless you.